It was 20 years ago. I walked into a major telecommunications company and they had hundreds of amps. And I was down there looking at the hardware and I can actually see the discs. It was just so exciting. And then all of a sudden, the discs, their lights would turn from brown to green when they were processing. And it would almost scare you. Everything would be quiet and green and all of a sudden, every disc would light up simultaneously and then stop and then and light up again and then stop and I go what the heck is that and they go those are the amps processing the data in parallel it was just amazing it looked like a football field in terms of size because there were amps and cabinets everywhere but Teradata has changed things over the past 20 years now they can take a small little server, looks like a PC, if, if it's even that big, and they can put in the memory 40 amps and four parsing engines, and that is what is called an SMP, symmetric multiprocessing node, and then you're ready to run your Teradata system. Now, Teradata takes their node that's about that size, they attach it to a disk farm. Each amp is going to have its disk. Nobody else gets in that disk. And that amp will process its data, its table on that disk. So it is a shared nothing environment. Each amp has its own memory, its own processing capabilities from the CPU, and its own disk farm. And it doesn't share anything. And that's how Teradata is set up.